Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn some of the basic features of Keel Microvision IDE which we are going to use throughout this course for programming our development boards and also we are just going to test some basic programs and we are going to get to know some of the debug features available in that IDE. Let's get started. I am just going to open the Keel Microvision IDE. So now in this Keel Microvision IDE, just click on Project and New Microvision Project and choose your destination location where you want to store your project and give a name for your project and click on Save. You can see it is asking for a select device for target in the first window. So in our case, I'm just going to configure this project for stm 32 f 446 re microcontroller and I'm going to choose this microcontroller. Just type in the microcontroller name right over here in the search box. You will get the device and then select the microcontroller and click on OK button. And in this manage runtime environment, if you are using printf statement in your program along with scanf etc, you just want to configure several things that I will be showing you right over here. And before that, the basic necessity for running the program for STM32F446RE is the startup code required for that microcontroller. So we just want to select the startup code required for STM32F446RE and then the requirements that we want to configure for using several features like printf, scanf, etc. in our program. So for selecting the startup code, just click on plus icon near the device and then click on this checkbox in the startup and then click on this resolve button if it is highlighting like this and then in the Kims score, you just want to select this. And after that, for using the printf scanf in your program, for using the debug serial viewer window available in the Keel Microvision IDE, you just want to click on the plus icon near the compiler and inside this IO and select std out checkbox for using the printf and std in checkbox for using the scanf. And in this drop down box you just want to select the ITM here also select ITM that's it now click on OK that's all the project has been created successfully and now we are just going to create the main.c file required for our project as we did in the C programming classes so right click on this source group and click on add new item to the group and here click on the c file and give a name for the c file as main you can see the main file has been created for our project and we are just going to write our main program which needs to be executed in our microcontroller in this main.c file from now on So now that we have created the main.c file required for our project, let us start writing our program in this main.c file. So starting with the header file inclusion as we did in the dev C++ C compiler, we are just going to add the header file stdio.h. And then we need the main function as we did in the C program. Since I have written the int as the return type of this main function, I just want to return something from this function. Let it be 0. So at the end of the main function, I am just going to write return of 0. So as we have included the stdio.h, we are accessible for using the printf function which is helpful for printing some data on the 
debug window of this keen microvision IDE. So I'm just going to write print of hello world. So what it does is it will be printing this hello world string onto the debug serial window available in this scale microvision IDE. So for that only we just enable the std in and std out in the device selection tab. So now I am just going to compile this program just click on this button right over here icon right over here or you can also press F7 in keyboard for building this project or you can just click on this project tab and click on build target. You can see here the build is successful with zero errors and zero warnings. So for running this program you need a microcontroller right. So you just want to connect your Nucleo F446RE development board to this PC for dumping this program to the microcontroller for running this program or instead you can run this program in a simulation environment provided by Keel Microvision IDE. For selecting that click on this icon right over here options for target and then click on the debug tab right over here. So in this tab just click on use simulator radio button right over here instead of this emulator radio button. So I'm just selecting use simulator and then click on OK. Now for running this program just click on this debug icon or start debug session icon right over here for moving to the debug view of Keel Microvision IDE. You can see the view of Keel Microvision IDE is switched from code view to debug view. So here is the debug print of viewer in the bottom right corner of the window. So for getting this just click on this icon right over here drop down icon and you can select this debug print of or disable this. I am just selecting this and now for running the program you just want to click on this run button right over here or you can click on F5 in the keyboard for running your program. You can see the hello world has been printed in the debug viewer window. So this is how you can use the same print of statement for debugging your code or for getting some values of variables in your code using the debug viewer window available in Keel Microvision IDE. And there are lot of stuffs available in this Keel Microvision IDE. Let us explore all those stuffs one by one. First and foremost thing is breakpoint. Come to this grey tab right over here and if you just make a single left click you can see one red dot will be placed near that line where you clicked. So this red dot is nothing but breakpoint in your program. So whenever you try to run a code placing the breakpoint the code will be passed before executing that current line where the breakpoint is placed. So obviously we can use this breakpoints in our program for debugging our program or for finding flaws where it actually happens inside your code. So let us try this. You can just click on this reset button right over here in the left top corner of the window for resetting the microcontroller to the reset vector. And now when I run this program by clicking on the run icon right over here, you can see the code has been passed in this breakpoint. That is the first breakpoint placed and it is holding right over here. You can see here the start button is enabled stating that the microcontroller is passed. And again when I click on that start button or run button, run icon, you can see the code has been moved to the next line and this line has been completed execution. And again when I click on this, you can see the hello world is printed.
so this is how you can run a particular code line by line using this breakpoint feature available in keel microvision ide and for removing the breakpoint just click on the breakpoint again make a single left click the breakpoint will be disabled and for removing all the breakpoints available in your program you can just click on this kill all breakpoints in the current target icon right over here on the top so that every breakpoint will be removed from your program i'm moving to the code view of the keel microvision ide by clicking on this tata stop debug session icon in the top and now let us try to print some variable values using this print of statement and let's explore how we, how we can do that in the keel microvision ide so i'm just declaring a variable of char type char of 1 is equal to character a so for printing this character in my debug viewer window what i want to do is i just want to follow the same method that we did in the dev c++ ide or in any c compiler ide i just want to write down like 1 is equal to percentage c comma the variable name so this will print the string 1 is equal to character a in my debug viewer window i'm just compiling the program and i am running this program by entering into the debug viewer window now when i run this program you can see the program is functioning as expected and when i want to print some integer values let's try out some integer values also int of 2 is equal to 7 and for printing the float values also i'm just going to declare another float variable so what i will do is after this i'm just going to provide backslash n for providing enter at the end of the print statement 2 is equal to percentage d backslash n print of 3 is equal to percentage of 3 so this line will be printing 1 is equal to character capital a and this line will be printing like string 2 is equal to the value of the variable 2 in integer format so 7 will be printed 2 is equal to 7 will be printed and then enter will be provided and the control goes to the next line and here in this line the 3 is equal to 7.77 in decimal values will be printed using this line so that is our expectation from this program that is from these three lines so let us try to execute this program and check whether it is functioning properly so the build is successful with zero errors and zero warnings let's move into the debug session of keel microvision ide and i am going to run this program from the beginning you can see the output is as expected 1 is equal to capital a 2 is equal to 7 3 is equal to 7.77 along with decimal values has been printed in the debug viewer window so our motto is successful that is we successfully printed the string hello world in our debug viewer window and also we tried to print various variable values like char int and float in debug viewer window of the skill microvision ide so i hope and now okay and now here in this program we have nearly six lines of program first line is character of 1 is equal to a second line is 
int of 2 is equal to 7 and third line is float of 3 is equal to 7.77 and in the fourth line we are printing the one variable value and the fifth line is printing the two variable value and the final line is printing the three variable value. So now we are just going to explore some features available in the scale microvision ID that is these three features step, step over and step out. So most oftenly we will be using these three features available in Keel Microvision IDE for moving or for executing each step in our program. That is I am just going to keep a breakpoint in the first line of the program that is char1 is equal to capital A and I am running the program. You can see the control comes to the first line and without executing the first line it has been passed. Now when I click on this step over icon right over here or F10 icon one line in the program will be executed you can see the control is moved to the next line again when I click on that step over icon next line will be executed and next 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 and finally all the lines has been executed so using the step over icon available over here you can execute the code line by line in your program and using the step icon right over here which also works in the same manner as step over icon that is the step over icon will step over the current line after executing the current line but this step icon will be executing only one step in your program that is if it is available in the char1 is equal to a that line will be executed. So the process is same you can use any one of these two for executing your code line by line in your program. And that's it. So using these breakpoints and all the step tools available in the skill microvision IDE you will be able to debug the code very very easily. So you can find flaws in your code and also you can improvise your code using the features of the Skill Microvision IDE. So I hope you learned somewhat what is Skill Microvision IDE, how you can set up a project in Skill Microvision IDE and also how to use several features in Skill Microvision IDE like debug, serial viewer window, step in, step out, step over breakpoints etc in this video. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.